Thank you. Developing right now, the principal of Palm Beach Central High School is among five people now facing a criminal charge of failing to report child abuse. Josie Carbonari is live in West Palm Beach where those five people appeared before a judge today. And Josie, you're also getting new information about what this case is all about. Yeah, each person was told they are to have no contact with the alleged victim or witnesses in this case, and administrators can't speak to each other about the case either. They each face failure to report suspected child abuse, a third degree felony in the state of Florida, punishable by up to five years in prison. Making their first appearance in front of a Palm Beach County judge today, Darren Edgecombe. The principal at Palm Beach Central High School granted a $10,000 bond. Priscilla Carter, a former behavioral therapist at the school, also granted a $10,000 bond. Scott Hutchins, a chorus director, given a $3,000 bond. And two assistant principals, Narita Garcia and Daniel Snyder, both given a $3,000 bond. Investigators with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office say they found two separate failure to report incidents dating back to 2021, where school employees didn't report allegations that a 15-year-old female student was sexually assaulted by another male student. The teen, as a result, was also expressing suicidal thoughts. According to the arrest report, the first incident happened in June of 2021 when a friend of the victim wrote a letter describing what was going on and gave it to Scott Hutchins, a chorus teacher, asking him to make sure it was given to the right person. Through the investigation, it was later determined Hutchins gave the letter to the guidance office. The 15-year-old teen girl was then evaluated, but it was determined she was not at risk to herself. Investigators, however, say staff never asked the teen about the sexual assault allegations. Investigators say none of this was ever reported to DCF. Then, in August of 2021, the teen reported that she was sexually assaulted once again. She was asked to provide a written statement where she told educators she, quote, continuously said no to the boy, but he did not stop. She also included the name of someone who witnessed it happen. However, investigators say this incident was not reported to authorities. Many of the names in the report are redacted, but it also states when one of the five educators was asked by investigators why the sexual assault was not reported, it was determined that the parents should be the ones reporting it to police if the assault happened off campus. They also said since there was no indication the teen was not safe, there was no need for them to report it, adding they, quote, weren't going by hearsay. And all five individuals will have to meet with a judge in the coming weeks. Reporting live, I'm Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News. Josie, thank you. The Palm Beach County School District just releasing a statement this afternoon, which reads in part, we can confirm that these employees have been reassigned to positions that do not have student contact. The allegations involving students occurred off school property and over a weekend. However, no matter when or where any alleged assault against a student occurs, our policy aligns with the law, which requires all personnel to report suspected abuse.